Hello, we are discussing about Gate 2007 EC paper. Look at a block diagram. A control system with a PD controller, proportional differentiator controller, is shown in the figure. If the velocity error constant kV is equal to 1000 and damping ratio zeta is equal to 0.5, then find the values of kP and kD. So we can get these two values from going through velocity error constant as well as damping ratio. Velocity error constant we will know the directly equation from that one we will get one value and the other value we will get from the damping ratio. Damping ratio is given but we can find damping ratio only in the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation is nothing but denominator of closed loop transfer function if you are equating it to zero. So you have to obtain close uh, characteristic equation by going by writing the by writing closed loop transfer function with unity feedback then compare the zeta, zeta value then you will get the other factor so we will go like this first velocity error constant which is nothing but kv kv can be calculated by using this formula as linked s tends to 0 s into g of s h of s is velocity error constant g of s h of s is nothing but open loop transfer function whenever there is a feedback is broken then open loop transfer function is nothing but this one this entirely is treated as g of s and it is treated as h of s h of s is one g of s is product of these two blocks so you can write it as linked s tends to zero g of s into h of s is e h of s is equal to one you can directly write it as s into g of s directly so i am writing that one s into g of s linked s tends to zero hundred into kp plus kd into s divided by s into s plus ten okay s into g of s so first i have to write s then i am writing g of s this s and this s get cancels now substitute s value so this is 100 times of kp plus 0 this s will become 0 this is become 0 okay so that divided by 10 which is nothing but 10 times of kp and kv value is given as 1000 so this is 1000 and 10 kp is equal to 1000 by 10 which is nothing but 100 so kp value we got it as as 100 okay next we need to calculate the kd value KD value can be obtained from the zeta that is damping ratio ok and it is second order system because it is consisting of two poles so it is second order system second order system so I am writing the second order system closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function is g by 1 plus g h which is nothing but g by 1 plus g since h of s is equal to 1 so now g is nothing but product of these two things so if you write 100 times of kp plus kd of s divided by s into s plus 10 divided by 1 plus 100 times of kp plus kd into s divided by s into s plus 10 ok so after simplification after simplification you will get it as 100 times of kp plus kds divided by s into s plus 10 that is s square plus 10s plus 100 times of kp plus 100 times of kd into s so kp value is already known that is 100 so you can write it as you can write this function as So now closed loop transfer function, closed loop transfer function is equal to this much ok and substitute the value of kp then it will be 100 into kp plus kd into s I am not substituting in the numerator it is not important so s square plus ok s times of all s terms are going to be taken common so this will be 10 plus 100 kd 
10 plus 100 kd plus 100 kp kp is 100 so that it will be 100 into 100 that is 100 square so now it is it is looking like a standard second order equation where standard second order equation characteristic equation is s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is equal to 0 so compare this one okay coefficient of s compare coefficients of s that is nothing but 2 zeta omega n which is standard equation and coefficient of s is this one so this is 10 plus 1000 times of kd 100 times of kd okay where this is omega n square and from this one omega n square is equal to 100 square so that omega n is equal to 100 so from this comparing omega n square is equal to 100 square so that omega n will become 100 and 2 zeta omega n is 10 plus 100 into kd so this is substitute zeta value is 0.5 into omega n is 100 is equal to 10 plus 100 times of kd so 2 into 0.5 is 1 1 into 100 is 100 100 is equal to 10 plus 100 times of kd so 100 kd is equal to 100 minus 10 which is 90 so kd value is 90 by 100 that is 0.9 so the values required is kd is 0.9 and kp is equal to 100 okay so the right answer for our question is kd is equal to 0.9 kp is equal to 100 so right answer for this question is b b is the right answer Thank you.